Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have in front of me a panel which I want to demonstrate um, flames, realistic flames. And um, this side I have taped off with transfer paper. And it's just a type of paper that uh, sign artists use to transfer vinyl stickers. So comes in handy when you're doing stuff like this. I have a plotter, so, and I still do signs, but uh, for right now, I just wanna demonstrate how I do flames on a black background or any kind of a dark color background. I am using today my uh, uh, Pro Boy Creos PS267, which is an excellent airbrush. It's very compatible to the Awada Eclipse, which I do have. I have numerous airbrushes. Um, I do have the, um, you know, the Pro Boy Creos 277 or 271. I'm not real sure, but it's so similar to the Micron, Awada Micron. It's not funny. Excellent airbrush, half the cost. So for right now, I'm going to be using a mixture of Cretex illustration color, um, red and orange together with a prop reducer of 411. And I mix in a little cup like this and uh, the mixture is uh, one to one ratio or one to one part paint, you know, 75% reducer. And I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of my airbrush. I don't like to get a lot of paint in there because it's just hard to clean out the end. Um, I do have an airbrush pot that cleans out the airbrush, or I have a container that I use with a sponge in it to dump out the paint when I'm ready, and then I spray it with reducer in a spray bottle. But uh, here's a stencil that I cut out of just a thin mylar, but also if you have a, um, I don't know, a laminate machine, which I've done, I've put two sheets of laminate together and run it through the machine, and then I draw out my stencil and cut it out. There's all kinds of ways to make stencils. You can even make them out of paper. You don't have to pay big bucks for stencils. So right now, I just want to start making a base down here I used to start out in the beginning, I would use white. There's all kinds of different ways to do flame. You don't have to stick by what everybody else tells you to do. You can first block it out in white, or you can block it out in red or orange or whatever color you want your hint to be. I don't even know if you can see it. What is on the back of this? I don't know what I'm getting on the back of the must be something about that simple. So I'm just going to fill it in here. And you can move it too as you go up. It doesn't have to be in the same. And you can put wicks in between the planes to show like a background plane coming through. I'm hoping, I'm not picking that up too good, are you? They do have better equipment coming for lives. Mostly a freehand artist, but uh, the use of stencils is is awesome when it comes more down to detailed work. It just helps to have that crisp line. Between other areas, time to dry. And I'm spraying it about 20. 
I even have a smaller one just like that <laughs> where you can come in and make littler lips. And this one's got a little hole in it. You can create little lips of flame here and there. And one there. And one here. I always take the end off of my airbrush because it helps you just get closer onto it. And it, it also helps you to be able to pick off the paint when it dries on the end. But I also use a little sponge that I have dipped in half uh, reducer, half distilled water. And I kind of just pick it off like that. What this sponge does is it not only helps you pick off the end of the, the dried, but it gets around the outer edge of the, um, the the tip of the airbrush, which sometimes it will clump out there. Not all the time, but sometimes it will. The sponge just helps with that. And we're getting overspray while we're doing this on the inside parts of the black. So I may have to come back later on and clean up the black a little bit by spraying a little bit more black in there. The air compressor that you hear come on is a California air tool. It's a quiet air compressor compared to the big old boy I used to have in here that would just break your eardrums in. <laughs> and I've got another one coming. Now, I'm out of paint now, so if I wanted to clean this airbrush out, I would grab my spray bottle, tip it over into my pot with the sponge in it, and spray, spray it out like this while pushing on the air tool. But since I can't do that with you guys watching me, I'm going to put it off to the side here and do it because we're going to change a different color. I'm going to go to yellow. I will be going back from orange red to yellow. So I'm going to put about oh, 20 drops of yellow, I suppose, and 20, 20 drops of oh, one to one. Oh, that. Okay, so mix it up. Mix it as I can with these little sticks. You can also use a uh, nail artist, which I'm a nail artist too. We have like See where there's some little spits right there? That's because I did not spray away to spray off the, the paint that had gathered on the tip of my airbrush. So I just let that dry. And in fire, you can kind of get away from it because a lot of times fires have little spits and a lot of times artists will even add those in. white and we'll go to red orange and we'll go to white we'll just keep going back and forth hair brushing takes time it's all about layers this is wet right here so i'm just gonna push down and dry that before i start hair brushing starting to put in some licks now
in the tight corner here. Ah, stuck on my earphones. Okay. So we'll have a little bit going across there. What is she doing? I'm creating a little fire look. I had to change it since I made a boo boo. See, if you ever make a mistake, you can always, you know, fix your work. There's nothing you can't fix. It doesn't look like much now, but it will in the end. I'm putting some little, I uh, like, mix of flame in the back in between these holes here. I don't know what you call them. To me, it doesn't look like, everybody says it's real fire, but to me, it's not real fire looking. Okay. Spray it out again before you start. We're just lightly going over it. Illustration paint is a uh, transparent paint. So you don't want to go to uh, spray in one, because this is a metal surface. You don't want to spray, and really it should be a canvas or paper. But um, my Wicked paint is not here at the moment, so I'm using the illustration paint for which is still good, but you would have to clear over it for it not to come off of the metal surface because it's not gonna uh, react the same way Wicked would. Wicked uh, Cretex is a good paint for metal. Back in the day when I used to paint uh, flames quite a bit, I used House of Color and in one shot, but you know, as you age, you want to be more careful of your health. You should always wear a mask. I'm just kind of going back over what I've already sprayed. And you're, you should have your, the way you hold your airbrush is not like this. It is with your finger kind of holding off to the side with wherever your, the first part of your finger bends, that's where your trigger should be. Cause you, you want, when you press down, that's just air coming out. But when you start to pull back a little bit, that's gonna get paint and an airbrush you should always have your air going like this on at all times. It doesn't mean it's blowing out paint all the time, but you're, you've are you got that action going to where nothing paint, nothing paint, nothing paint. I still am in the habit of stopping and starting and I don't know why I picked that up years ago when I first started, but now I'm getting out of that habit. And so you can train an old dog new tricks.
Now I'm going to hit it again. Now we're out. Now we're going to yellow. Yellow I didn't mix up enough last time. a little bit of my brush and we're going to go back over the top of it. Now see how um, this is going to be prominent, but you can still faintly see like a lick of flame behind that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Nope, not really, but okay. I think once you try this, you'll see it for yourself. Boo boo, dry, dry, dry. me I like to do the more rolling flames and I, I'll do I'm going to do a demonstration of that too because that looks more real to me okay, just a little bit more yeah Okay, now we're going to white.
little character in my claims. Wow, they creepy. Okay. You don't want to keep hitting the same place. Um, I don't know if I said that or not, but like a lot of these, I'm going on the outside. That's because when I come back in with the next color, it's going to make it look quite different dimensions and depths. That's how you get your depth. I keep stepping on my airbrush <laughs> hose. Twist here, I like that. Now I had started out with no set pattern, I just started painting. But if you really wanted to draw out your flames, you need to map them all out and when you um, go over and you hit an area that's black and hasn't been filled in it turns green which is what I hate <laughs> when you're painting on black and the only way to keep that from happening is to have your red in here pretty thick so I'll probably go back over that and fix that up I'm going to touch that real quick with a little red just because I can Side of it, just putting in some extra um, look. Then we're going to come back in with that white. Just touch it up a little bit, and that will be it. Line up the main form highlights here. Right here. Right here. Mm. 
How much for the wicks to have um, sharpness to them? Definitely. What you can do too is like flick um, some specks on here because a lot of times fire has you know little particles of light. Oh, that's the particles. I could, I could go back over, which I probably will, with some a little yellow, just to bring out the white. It doesn't have to be really dark white, and uh, that will help help it some. And then it will be completely done. See how that just brings it out. I did get heavy there. Not my best. I've done fire in a while. I know why I picked fire, but you get the dress. And once the, the yellow goes over it at the end, it's pretty well much done, unless you want to put the wild, more white highlights, but I, I think fire should be more orangey. And, and if you want to put blue licks, you could go ahead and go, come in on the white and put blue, but for right now, we're just going to call this quits. And I may come back in after I clear it and show you what it looks like once it's clear on my next video, um, because... Um, then you'll be able to see what's in between these. So for then, bye-bye.